been a pretty impressive feat. Their T side especially. So it's important for them to get off to a good start in this buy round, and they've managed to get the first kill, even with Sergey losing quite a bit of HP. It's a close smoke, I believe, going down just towards short here. Could give them the option if they want to try and drop into the CT spawn, but over on long, we do eventually see Britain's actually getting one, doesn't expect it to be followed up, so with that, Alu at least is able to trade. And now over towards Ramsus, a uh, player that's got in a very difficult position being Brolan. Not really able to do too much as he gets blinded and taken down. Golden then trying to rotate into the CTs. And later on, they'll be splitting in through middle where Krims has got a big task on hand. Yeah, and unfortunately only able to get one kill before going down. Roland was nearby to give some assistance, but again, the trades are just available for Fnatic. They're slowing this down. They've dropped the bomb in mid, and Golden ends up coming out with a double on that AWP before falling. And the main thing being, as I said, that bomb getting dropped now in mid, that puts Sunny in a very awkward spot trying to actually retrieve it, working against the clock. Sunny somehow was able to, able to get that bomb and run back in time to start planting it. JW just does a free kill, and even then he doesn't make it in time. So, indeed, Fnatic going to be able to snatch that one away. A great hold from Golden. Really long push. Alu on his way in with the off. He's got a victim. And with Brolin falling. They did make the decision to go and get that short control, which may just work out for them. I mean, JW does try to want to try and re-aggress here, which is going to be very dangerous. Doesn't hit his initial shot and decides to drop back down where he can get the help of Flusha, but still just trying to pick these up. Not really been able to connect, and at this point, forced back into the spawn. Flusha going to be forced back over towards Long. And with that, just going to have to concede this plant now. I mean, they're still in a pretty decent position in the 4 on 4. They have the off that can maybe try and pick someone off. They still have Flusha with that long control as well. It really comes to down, it comes down to these initial kills on short. And it's Sunny who's up close, who's able to find one. No immediate trades being found. JW though, taking his time. Okay, going to wait and see if anyone else will show themselves. Obviously, obviously it's JW. He will go for the knife. Unfortunately, that's all he gets though. Uh, I, I don't know. It's not like he could have done much better with the up once he shot off the first round anyway. So it's going to be a split towards B in the end. They're already out on the bomb side here. This is a little bit risky. JW down below with the deagle in hand. He's good for one. Picked up a rifle, but again, before he can get to use it, is dispatched with. And at this point, Fnatic should really be going for a save. There's eight seconds, but it's quite likely the bomb gets planted. I think they were going to ban realistically as Vertigo is taken out, obviously. Um, so realistically, there's, um, there's no way it could have went better, but I don't see it. As now they will begin to move forward indeed. I believe just being spotted there as well, so they caught it over. Golden ends up jumping up, taking down Sergey with a quick headshot for the moment, though. They aren't really aware of the fact that everyone is coming in through mid, so you can see they're both kind of just hiding out. Golden was more so focused on the tunnel. At this point, realizes that there's at least one more player around that mid door, and actually lines them up as they try and come through. That's the bomb getting dropped. Leaving it all on Alu, who they do know is back towards mid. Already taken one with the up, but I think he may be limited to that. Actually gets the leg on Golden, but he's just running out of time. There's 14 seconds left. He's pressured, of course, to just try and push in with his pistol out. And that is an easy frag for Golden. Again, would probably just be looking at an ego. And that's unfortunate. Roland's gone. Straight through the smoke, straight through the gap of the door. Alu is just like, yeah, you got one round, but that's it. We're going to flush it with the opening on the aerial, backing off immediately, looking for the site. Finally, an opening that's not answered back on. Fnatic, man advantage. And Ents are going to have to claw this back. JW goes out for the peak, and he suffers. Sergey takes a bit of damage, but that's from his teammate. And down goes Flusha. Out of nowhere, Fnatic are now behind in the round. Locked out of the site as the bomb makes its way over, and a plant comes through. Short and long control goes towards Ents. And Ents, double digits, 8k is an off. They move down through middle immediately and open that up, leaving Brawling to hold down on B by himself. He's being split. Four players coming in through the CT spawn. And as he looks up above in window, he oopsie daisies, catches Alu, but is immediately traded out. And although normally they would be saving this, Fnatic have to go for it. It's the last round. Yeah, at the moment, just really trying to hold off this rotation as long as he can. And with this is here, and I believe all of the footsteps at this point. So he's allowed for his entire team to just focus in. But right now, they're actually just going to straight up rush B. I mean, not wanting to go at anything too crazy. Keeping it simple and just looking to try and hit their shots. And so far, they are actually managing to do so. Brolan, Flusha, and Crims all joining in. It was actually Flusha, I believe, finding one around short there. May have been in mid as he was holding off the rotation, but... Leaving just two players now for Ents. Sunny and Alu trying to come in. They do have a kit. They have a flash. Thrown both of them over, but unfortunately not finding any openings off the back of it. So Sunny already being dinked up looks to fade away, but that's not going to be allowed. A little bit more than we've seen from them earlier on, to be fair, when they did actually get some damage with just the USPs. So you can never count them out. This time, though, not really going for anything is crazy. Instead of going for any sort of aggression instead, just stacking up towards that B-bomb site and hoping that they will have a couple people push in. 
And I mean, Flusher, he does go scouting. The thing is, though, he spots three players. So at this point, as you said before, as soon as that stack is spotted, we're going to see the T's just immediately rush it towards the other bomb site, And they've gone ahead and taken both long and short control. And the possibility to really get back in there. But no kits. Now they've lost those two. So it's just going to be playing exits here, realistically. Alu moving forward with the MAC-10 in hand. He sees nobody on long, but he's not checking his close corner. Oh, Crims. Not another one for Fnatic. He's got the patience, the discipline to not go forward as he swings through for the kill. Right now, though, good damage already being found by that op initially, and then Golden trying to creep out mid ends up getting caught by X7, who I believe is just playing around a smoke. So this is looking much, much better. Indeed, ends with those ops not only finding a kill, but also tagging down two players relatively heavily. JW is just actually going to walk straight up mid. Right now, Fnatic just trying some wild things, realizing they are in a very difficult spot. JW is somehow not able to connect that shot there in the CT spawn. And it's actually the flank that I wasn't even paying attention to that comes in and just immediately cleans up. Roland being so low, can't even afford to try and trade it. He's just left hiding in the corner. And by the time he does peek, Alu is ready to come in and help his teammate out. What a huge flank coming through from Sonny. The double kill essentially leading to the third. Flusha catches Sonny continuing to aggress though. Looking into T spawn, poking the beast. The Flusha is eventually taken down by the long range AWP shot from Alu. Flip through CT. While he lands a little shot, but it's not too bad. A big hold has to come through now over towards this site where Sergei is already lit to 2 HP. And very quickly both players fall. That was... Uh, with a lightning round. Brolin continues to aggress through the smoke to eliminate Sunny, ensuring that they save even less. And with Enz having no cash, this is so, so valuable for Fnatic. They can afford to lose all the rifles they have, but if they take them out of the hands of Enz, that is a worthwhile trade at this point. Valu finds this first kill. The remaining players are both very low, and that can be easy for Ariel. There it is. Two kills coming through. Sunny with another on the P250. JW's got low HP, and he's the last alive in a 1v5. And Fnatic, this was their round. It was for free, Dean. I think we're seeing... Uh, this is a similar smoke execute to what we've seen before. That last one's a little bit late, so it delays them moving forward. Golden, the first man in, looking for contact on site. Can't find it. Alu picks off one with the op, but he's forced back to long afterwards. We've seen Fnatic do this quite a bit, but usually they're going to have a little bit of a long split later on with Crimson Flusha, but they decide against it this time, just fully committing in with such low time. They Oh my god, Flusha. Was that on the drop down in CT? He's just taking down Sergey and Sunny. But yeah, this time, because there was so little time, they don't want to be pushing in through long late and risking the short players falling, losing the bomb, and the round. JW with a double as well. And X7 sat here wondering what the hell went on. And at this point, ideally, they can't drop another round if they want to get that win in regulation. And right now, Fnatic is always just feeling so confident. Krim's actually being the man to try and lead that charge out long. Unfortunately, he will get caught. Well, that means you got a lot of pressure on those players pushing out of the tunnels. Up above, easily done by Sergey, spraying them down, almost taking a 3k. Golden carefully giving the bomb to his teammate so as not to make a sound cue, but the nade comes in anyways, and it does a lot of damage. Back turn, Golden goes out too early. The flash timing was horrible, and Fnatic have lost the bomb on long. Sunny cautious in crossing over on middle. He knows they could be lurking around. Flush is gone, and with that, the round. 12 seconds left. 1v5 again for JW without his AWP this time, and he just hasn't got the time on the board. Ends taking themselves a 15th. And that was so messy as well. At least he doesn't die. So crossing over, let's take a look at the A site defense. Alu should be pushed back in the second by the sm by the flashes that come over the smoke, certainly. But he almost gets an opening for it. Usually when Fnatic set up for those smokes, they've already got one down at the close box. This time they decide not to do it, and you see why that's not really the best of ideas. They realize that the CTs are onto them as Golden falls to an aid. The rest of the team split up to B. X7 holding down and Sergey. They've got to stop them here. Oh, X7's ready. Already getting one. Follows up at a second. Sergey going to be able to help out. And it's JW who didn't have a weapon for a moment. Strides out to that M4, but left with 14 seconds. Four opponents. And at this point, having the reload as well now as they're all pushing them down. It is just impossible. 16-14 for Ents. They are eventually able to get the victory here for themselves on Dust2. I mean, if they can get off to a good start, who knows? It's definitely possible. We've seen them get that previous map despite losing both pistols. But I do think this is definitely going to be one that favors Fnatic. 
Right now, though, Ents, I like that they've gone for this aggression. They've pushed one player straight to ramp. That's Ariel, who's already flanking behind the top of mid very, very early on in the round. The question is, will he make it in time to actually get a lot of impact? I believe that's the bomb he was tapping away at. Actually, indeed, dropping the bomb around. Delpan, Sunny going to be able to pop out and take JW under the window. Oh, and flush it. He, he had a nice chance there to maybe try and catch one off guard. But, but the rifles for Fnatic trying to work out towards mid. They have a bit of utility and... For the moment, I mean, Ents can't really challenge it too aggressively. It's only Sunny who's trying to stick around towards window. Yeah, definitely. Oh. You can see the players in on the ramp, and Palace, as JW picks up a second open, Prince gets challenged. Sergey had to try to seize a bit of map control. He couldn't stand out there in the open on Palace, but not a lot done. And with that, an MP9 to retake, not ideal, and that's going to be all they've got left to work with. Fnatic really don't want to be losing any of these weapons. It's not too worthwhile. Obviously, they don't know exactly what X7, X7 has at this point. They don't know that it's just an MP9, not a rifle or whatever. But they're giving him a chance. Oh, he's going to go for the knife. Is he going to be spotted? Apparently not. Doesn't realize it's a player towards Van at this point. Yeah, flush it and creep past. So, but this is risky. If this one doesn't work out, then there is a chance for Fnatic to try and snatch away that lead. But Alu did find a quick opening. Despite going down quickly, at least the weapon of Crispin retreat a little bit, a little bit easier. Look at Ariel's aggression and underpass. He's caught one. Crims goes down. B's now clear, and they're going to spot that out. Ariel continues to aggress, and that info should be communicated now. Although we're not seeing anybody rotating too fast, X7 just continues to push forward, although having a Mag 7. He obviously wants a, a little bit of an upgrade. He'll hold down in the apartments while Ariel starts to rotate in towards at least Kitchen to be on a faster swing into the A-bomb site. Sunny, I think, has heard steps coming out of the ramp. And as the shot rings out, he looks to Palace, catches Golden, flushes low, and naded to death. JW in a 1v4. Last round even in the beginning. There's definitely some challenges coming. If ends manage to lose the round, then things do get shaky. Boost up in the apartments immediately. Doesn't spot anybody, so they know that, at least for now, B is clear. They push on forward to confirm that. We've seen in Palace by Surya either. Fnatic just playing again, this one quite slowly. They like to run down that first minute or so, but at least for a moment they were favoring in towards A. I think Brawlin just going back to throw over smoke, and then he'll go rejoin his teammates as they look to split out. They've had success here in the past, although the previous round... Obviously, they uh, got slowed down a little bit. They lost their mid and their B control. I think that was <laughs> well, a huge issue for them. They're running into A players that know they're coming. The utility was used up. Now with 40 seconds left, they'll four-man push out with a late underpass split. A lot of danger for the A players. This still smokes in play for Fnatic, which should be coming over. Although they're just dry peeking all the angles. Flashes through. I don't, Sonny's away. He's away in the brain. Just staring out at connector and gets domed in the side. Yeah, but I was going to say, Ariel had just been hiding in the back of the bomb site the entire time. How the hell is he able to get golden? I have no idea how he didn't go down. Fortunately, Brolin eventually comes through with a nade to finish him off. And he knows, I don't believe. So I think his goal may be more so once some pressure shown towards A, perhaps try and peek out, see if he can kill that rotator and make things a lot more difficult in general but now indeed he is beginning to throw some molotovs down having been spotted by x7 and at this point mollied off as well he really can't do too much anymore i think they realize it is probably just that one player they haven't pulled any rotations from that a bomb site leaving still ends in a pretty decent position to hold this down the issue is now it's actually all on aerial and he's been mollied off on the ramp as well brolin though tries to go forward immediately being dropped alu gets one elsewhere and suddenly it's all on crims and even then he's stuck out in the open so nothing to be done Versa as Ents have got that bankroll built up. Alu with the opening. That helps them out a massive amount. And he's got a third. Locking down short. And this is a disaster for Fnatic. So little cash in the bank. 30 seconds left. Bomb down on short. In such an important round, it looks like it's going to go to Ents. Despite Flush's kill, they've got to make a lot happen. And Alu's looking in towards the apartments. As the last player moves forward, Crims hits the floor. As the smoke starts to move forward. Nice opening by Sunny though. He's cut off JW, who's been predictably coming connector every round. Sergey there with another, as they now just look to hold down passively. We saw Ariel c concede any control on the side. Alu, though, doesn't expect Brawlin to already be up close. And that could be the opening they need. That's significant map control that Fnatic now have in towards the CT spawn. And despite a man disadvantage, they've also managed to retrieve an AWP in the hands of Brawlin, looking to catch the connector players off as they move forward. Ariel shows himself, and he's down. Golden with another. 
and all of a sudden Fnatic are in the lead. Bomb planted, brawling ready for that beak. And just like that, it's all over. Two MP9s, a scout in play, and it looks like they do want to go for something a little bit more crazy. Just going to push straight up mid, and again, Brolin just straight up short, so he's actually going to bypass a couple of them. Unfortunately, his teammate's not going to be able to do the same, so we do see Ents actually finding some opening picks. They had no idea. I don't think that Brolin was up short. What a shot! How the hell does Alu hit that? Gets another as well, follows up for the second headshot on Flusha. Swinging out a little bit wider to try and... Oh, not leave, in fact. Forcing him even further, and he finds the kill, but it's time to leave. JW is going to push as soon as this smoke fades, but in comes Alu to save the day, and great mid control by Ents. A four versus two, and the bomb left on top mid with no way to really get down it. That's nasty by Sonny onto Flusha, spraying away with the pre-fire as he had to leave from the molly. Here we go. Oh, almost managed to actually get that. Must have heard the little jump up on the ledge. But they need it right now in this pistol round if they want to start making that comeback a reality. And right now, at least, they do have a relatively decent setup around mid with players pushed up around the ladder room, window, and connector. Unfortunately, though, all trying to face, not really with each other either. It allows Ents to just take some easy frags. A couple of headshots already being found. At this point, they've gone ahead and got a couple players up through short, and the B-bomb site is completely open. I believe they've sent the bomb actually back through under so that it wouldn't risk being taken down. And they even have a lurker. Sergey, we've seen him back on Dust 2 as well, always being the man who'd be probing around the opposite bomb site, just making sure that he's always a nuisance. The issue is they don't clear short at all. Flush it allowed to just tap away for ages with that USP and find two. And how is this happening? Fnatic are recovering it. It's suddenly fallen all onto Sergey, and they know he's back towards that A bomb site and Crims just wrecks him. So it's actually just gonna be a quick B play going in. Flush it again playing from short. This time of course having the M4 a Molotov underneath the window to make it a little bit harder for them to try and advance forward as they can't drop out the window itself. Instead forced to go through balcony. But again, Sonny actually this time will be able to get the trade. At least the Molotov is perfect. He actually gets Brolin in the background that was not the man he was aiming for but he will take it now it is again a decent spot for ends to be in but jw just holding has eventually gifted himself a kill crims has to skirmish up close and clear these angles that smoke might even bait a peak to come through and a potential pick for jw he knows there's probably someone around bench but has to take the m4 for the closer range skirmish as they move forward crims spots one from behind but he's taken down from bench and alu finishing off that round with the kill except well, uh, i was gonna say right <laughs> <laughs> but right now, it's just kind of slipping away from Fnatic. I, I like that at least this one they've gone for again, a little bit of a gamble. Something different as well, actually. Putting the player in window one down up close to the short wall who's watching the underpass and who can then help towards top mid if needed. And it works out for them to find that two-man advantage. They've restricted Ents from getting that mid control, which so far has been a big issue. They've been using that to split onto the bomb sites to leave lurkers who can slow rotations. And as I said before, just be a nuisance, a torn in the side. And this is looking like a very convincing round so far from Fnatic. Can any damage at least be done here by the remaining ends players is the question. Make it somewhat worthwhile. That is ballsy from Flusha, but it works out perfectly. Anything further to go towards them before they find a couple, and there's an opening duel by Alu to further cement Ence's dominance in this series. Considering the fact that so far, what, Sunny is 6 for 2 in opening duels, I think? He's been insanely dominant in uh, finding those early fights. We haven't actually seen... Fnatic be able to challenge either Alu or Sunny. As we go towards middle, okay, Brawlin pulling that one back at least helps a little bit, but they're already out on the A-bomb side, and as Brawlin tries to come back up connector, he's got a welcoming party, but not the kind he was looking for. The bomb is down in top mid, and X7 has to go and get it. Those steps are heard by Golden, and in just a second, now he knows it's not actually up under past the beat. He knows they're committing A, he's holding the angle, but he misses the shot. Alu in with another. Flash down to just stop JW from pushing, get himself an angle towards jungle, and X7 will be in here in a flash. Sergey's got CT being held, so all they really have to worry about is stairs, but actually, JW might it, might be in a decent position to put this bomb carrier off. As he goes up on top, X7's there, but he misses the shot. How do you found that? Alu's low, can't really afford to trade. Ents are looking to just push straight through to the A-bomb site, and this is so poorly timed for Fnatic. Brawlin's the only player here. Everyone else is focused towards that early mid control. Brawlin's already challenged, luckily not taken down. The nade dropped. Great opening duel for him. Low HP on Sunny, who's also taken down. He can't do more, but his teammates come in to save the day. X7 spraying away, but all of a sudden it's a 2v2. How have things flipped out of control for Fnatic? Brawlin with such a good A defense. Alu's holding on the off. Golden needs to be careful about peeking this. He can't afford to dry peek it, but he's got no use utility and his teammates nowhere nearby alu pushing slowly down towards ct a move's gonna have to be made eventually and alu's checking the corner he's got the kill and it's all down to flush it he has to go for this on 14 to 8 
His chances of winning are quite low. The flash perfect as well. X7 doesn't really want to peek here on 18 health. Especially with Alu having that off in a 1v1. It's not ideal. Smoke goes down. And Flush a cut with a nade in hand. He makes it over. Drops a flash. Goes up on top. Oh, Alu. No, he's killed his teammate. But there's no time. There's none at all. Alu wants to knife him to death. He can't get it done and has given them an op. If Flush makes it away, 55 HP? Yeah, just about. Yeah, it's an interesting choice for it to be so heavily focused on mid. With that, it means, of course, they can still really bring it anywhere at this point. They are trying to feel out what exactly is going on with the defense, but now beginning again to approach a true connector. No nades at all, just playing off a contact. And Crims actually finds three with the FAMAS. Nearly able to do a little bit more damage onto Alu. It's JW instead on the flank who should finish that one off. And indeed, that is the case. It's all on Sergei as he's been somehow dropped into a one on three. And despite getting that first kill, I don't expect much more. For the moment, though, ends their main focus being around mid. And indeed, he actually does decide to take a little bit of a peek there. So Brolin has a free kill. I think it's most likely going to be brought on to B. I like this. It's only actually golden on the bomb site itself right now. He's found one at least. Ariel's low, so there's a second. Looking to window for more. And Golden with a quick triple. Now I think maybe starting to get a little bit of a shake. Good shot by JW. And looking to navigate their way in towards the A bomb site. JW has a decision to make on where he goes. Looks like he's sticking down in the window just to make sure jungle is secure. They've got Connector, but they've just lost Crims. Connector control is gone. And on the bomb site now, Brawlin's getting a little bit scared. He's having to back off to CT. And if Ents use their smokes here to get themselves out onto this bomb, or their smoke, excuse me, it's actually only Ariel that has one. They should be able to cross over fairly safely. JW on the pistol to open it. The bomb should make it to sight. In fact, even further, Alu's got a second kill. Sergey pushed up close. It's free, and it's all down to Golden to find himself three. Yeah, I mean, he had this long flank if his teammates maybe were able to survive a little bit longer. Perhaps it could have been something that he could have actually done some work with, but being left alone immediately, you do see Ents as well reacting. Okay, he's taking a while. Let's have a check around ramp, see if he's going to flank us out. They get ready for the double peek and just rip his head off immediately. 2-0 for Ents.